Hello. It's hot, and normally I have the shutters closed during the day. But I've opened them up, and I've also turned on the light here for a minute, so I hope you can see. I'm not feeling very well still, um, but I wanted to show you this recipe, which is a fantastic Tuscan rice salad. And I was taught this by Roberto Migliuzzi of Livorno, Italy, who stayed with us for a month in 1995 and showed me how to do this. Now, I do not have all of the ingredients that he recommends for this, and some of them are not as fresh and high quality as they could be. But I want to show you this because it's really lovely. Now, this is basmati rice, which I cooked this morning. I don't have any gadgets, so I did all this by hand, and oh, it just takes some organization. Uh, and uh, everybody loves this. This is very nice and light and digestible. Um, and you just have to chill it for about half an hour before you serve it. So this rice is, is cool now. It cooled down. Don't put hot things in your refrigerator. And I'm adding one little sliced potato, which I haven't even peeled. It doesn't matter. I don't think this bowl is going to be big enough, but it doesn't matter because I've got other bowls that I will transfer it to. This is a sliced hard-boiled egg and um, you can use surimi in this but my spouse actually got us some real crab meat on sale so I'm going to add a, a spoonful of that and uh, I've got a spoonful of tuna you can use any type it doesn't matter if it's in oil or if it's in water or if it's fancy or not this is some cilantro from my um, window box. Uh, these are minced onions. This is half of a corn de boeuf pepper, which is a mild pepper. This is half of a big tomato. You don't have to use this much tomato. You can use one little teeny plum tomato for this whole thing. This is a sweet and sour pickle. This is a cooked hot dog. These are some olives. Now, fancier, better, fresher olives with the pits would be nicer, but you know, we don't have them. This is some Dijon mustard. These are some canned peas and carrots. I should have corn for this, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to use them. And you only use like a spoonful of each thing. Oh, I've forgotten the Gruyere cheese. You do need some Gruyere cheese. And I should also have some uh, a piece of sliced ham for this. And I don't have it, so I'm just skipping it. Um, about a tablespoon of mayonnaise, no more than that. You don't want people to actually, you don't want it gloopy. And um, people just love this. It's light and cool and digestible. Uh, you don't have to present it anyway. I do have a few lettuce leaves, but I don't think I'm going to bother. See, I had other things I could have used. I could have roasted and cooled a courgette, you know, zucchini, we call them in the United States. But I didn't. And uh, even though I'm missing some things, uh, this is it. This is a Tuscan rice salad. Uh, very, very small quantities of everything. And I know it's a pain in the butt. You're like, oh, I'm not going to buy all that stuff. You do have to make a list and go and get the stuff. And, uh, of course, you could use parsley, chives. Scallions are nearly impossible to get here in France. Apparently, they're illegal because a lot of them are GMO. Um, and uh, it's just delicious because there's the onion in it. You know, onions don't keep for more than four hours. But don't worry, there won't be any leftovers. I mean, we'll, we'll eat probably quite a bit of this for lunch. And if there's anything left over, um, believe me, we'll eat it for dinner tonight. All right, I hope it gives it gives you the idea. Yeah, you do add a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, you could use garlic. Uh, you could use a lot of different things, but this is the essential idea, so you know about this. All right, see you later.